Red Bull is reportedly planning a shocking move that could see Daniel Ricciardo replaced sooner than expected. With rumors swirling about rising star Liam Lawson and team bosses hinting at big changes, the future of Ricciardo's seat is in serious doubt. Is Red Bull gearing up for a dramatic driver switch in the middle of the season? And what does this mean for Ricciardo's F1 career? Daniel Ricciardo's season hasn't gone as planned, and now things might get worse for the Aussie. A new contract clause for Liam Lawson has been leaked, with rumours suggesting that Red Bull could replace Ricciardo with Lawson as early as Singapore. Ricciardo is fighting for his future in Formula One. His struggles with the car's performance have led to growing speculation that Red Bull may be looking at Lawson as a replacement. Helmut Marko has hinted at changes, and renowned Dutch media outlet Ziggo Sport has further revealed that Lawson's contract includes a clause ensuring he'll race in at least five Grand Prix events in 2024. If the clause is true, Ricciardo's time with Red Bull could be limited to just a couple more races. Red Bull might make a decision soon, with only the second seat at Racing Bulls yet to be confirmed for next season. Liam Lawson's seat at Red Bull, a real possibility. Rumours suggest that Liam Lawson could be sitting in a Red Bull seat sooner than expected. According to Rick Winlan, a close friend of journalist Jack Bluish, the information circulating about Lawson's promotion is highly reliable. Bluish has been known for breaking controversial news, and this time, it seems like Red Bull is seriously considering replacing Daniel Ricciardo. Helmut Marko made it clear that Ricciardo's return to the team was conditional on outperforming Yuki Tsunoda at Alpha Tauri. However, things haven't gone in Ricciardo's favor. After the Spa Grand Prix, where Ricciardo was reportedly promised a shot at the second Red Bull seat, it seems the team backed out, choosing to stick with Sergio Perez. Instead of discussing drivers, recent team meetings have focused on the performance issues of their car, which has lost its dominance in the Constructors' Championship. While Red Bull faces challenges with car performance, the question of who will sit alongside Max Verstappen remains. With Verstappen's future uncertain beyond 2026, Lawson fits perfectly into Red Bull's long-term strategy. If the team chooses to bring Lawson in, he could be a key part of Red Bull's future, giving them a fresh start as they work to regain their competitive edge. The future of Red Bull's second driver remains uncertain, with Helmut Marko hinting that a decision will be made around the Singapore Grand Prix. Marko recently commented, we have an idea, just wait until Singapore. It is still September and then we will have a clear picture. This statement has fueled speculation that Liam Lawson may replace Daniel Ricciardo sooner than expected. Daniel Ricciardo returned to Red Bull's sister team, Alpha Tauri, now racing bulls, with the hope of reviving his career and earning a seat alongside Max Verstappen. However, his performance has been inconsistent. Ricciardo himself admits there is a certain level of pressure on him, but denies facing any unreasonable demands from the team. I haven't had a hand on the shoulder to pull me into a room and say, hey, do this or else, Ricciardo said in a recent interview. I know what's required, and maybe that's why the tough talk hasn't been necessary. But there hasn't been any extra pressure from Helmut. Despite this, Ricciardo is aware that the team has expectations for him to deliver, especially with Liam Lawson waiting in the wings. Lawson's impressive debut in Formula One last season has made him a strong contender for a full-time seat. Liam Lawson's performance in his five-race stint with Alpha Tauri in 2023, particularly his points finish in Singapore, has made him a serious candidate for a permanent spot on the Red Bull team. Even without George Russell's crash in the final laps, Lawson would have secured at least one point, showcasing his maturity and skill behind the wheel. Red Bull has since played a hot and cold game with Lawson, alternating between publicly backing him and delaying a decision on his future. Marco's push for Lawson's inclusion could also be influenced by the potential departure of Max Verstappen. With new regulations set to take effect in the near future, Verstappen's future at Red Bull is not guaranteed beyond 2026. This leaves Red Bull in need of a talented driver to fill Verstappen's shoes, and Lawson appears to fit the bill perfectly. Tsunoda's uncertain future and Yuki Tsunoda, while talented and capable, has struggled to convince Red Bull that he is the right driver to lead the team in a post-Verstappen era. 
his emotional outbursts and inconsistent performances have raised concerns about his ability to handle the pressures of being a number one driver. If Verstappen does leave, Red Bull may view Lawson as a more suitable long-term replacement. Daniel Ricciardo's race in Baku was one to forget. The Aussie driver struggled with the car's pace, primarily due to tyre graining issues. Reflecting on his performance, Ricciardo expressed frustration, saying, We expected some graining, but losing two to three seconds a lap was not what we expected. It was so weird that we dropped so much, and then all of a sudden it started to clear. My lap time swing was four seconds. It was crazy. Despite the unpredictable tyre performance, Ricciardo couldn't make up ground and finished behind both Williams drivers, who took advantage of their superior top speed on Baku straights. What made the situation worse for Ricciardo was that even after two top drivers crashed, he still failed to finish within the points. This result only added to the growing concern about his future in Formula One. Yuki Tsunoda has been outperforming Ricciardo in qualifying with a head-to-head -head score of 11, 6 in favor of the Japanese driver. Tsunoda has also been more consistent in scoring points, having contributed 22 of the team's 34 points this season. These results are crucial for racing bulls, as they battle for sixth place in the Constructors' Championship. The difference between finishing sixth or seventh could be millions of dollars in prize money, making every point count. Given Ricciardo's underwhelming performance, the team may be considering giving Liam Lawson more opportunities in upcoming races. Lawson's potential to score even one or two points could make a significant difference in the team's standing and secure much-needed prize money. While it's not entirely Ricciardo's fault that the car upgrades haven't worked as expected, his inability to deliver results consistently is concerning. The team may decide to test Lawson's ability to deliver when it matters most, especially as Racing Bull's sixth place standing in the Constructors' Championship is now under threat. The importance of fresh talent. Looking at Williams, we can see the impact that fresh talent brings to a team. Take Franco Colapinto, for example. In just his second race, he finished eighth, and if it weren't for a crash, he would have secured a top 10 finish. This shows how young drivers, hungry to prove their worth, can push the team and experienced drivers like Alex Albon to extract more from the car. This fresh energy and determination are exactly what racing bulls might need especially as they face challenges with Daniel Ricciardo's performance. Sometimes, moving on from experienced drivers is the right move for a team. The situation with Max Verstappen and Red Bull brings this into focus, as the team may soon have to plan for a future without their three-time world champion. While Max Verstappen is a dominant force in Formula One, Red Bull has to face the possibility of him leaving in the near future. If Verstappen does leave, finding a driver with a similar mindset and skill level will be no easy task. However, Red Bull's current pool of drivers includes one standout, Liam Lawson. Unlike the others, Lawson is yet to have a full season in Formula One, meaning he hasn't been fully evaluated. This could give Red Bull the perfect opportunity to develop him for the future. With Daniel Ricciardo's future uncertain and the team needing to think long term, Lawson might be the key to Red Bull's next chapter. With these factors in mind, Red Bull faces a huge task heading into 2025. They must evaluate their current drivers, including Ricciardo and Lawson, and decide who will lead the team into the future. Should Verstappen leave, Lawson's potential and ability to deliver over a full season might make him the ideal candidate to step up. Moreover, Marco recently stirred the Formula One rumor mill by hinting that Max Verstappen might consider leaving Red Bull for Aston Martin in the future. Marco pointed out that Aston Martin has the most modern factory and with their wind tunnels set to become operational next year, coupled with Honda engines, they could become serious title contenders. He emphasized that wherever legendary designer Adrian Newey has gone, success has followed, suggesting Aston Martin could be Max's next winning team. Marco added that Verstappen is fully aware he can win titles with Red Bull, but there's pressure to win the current world championship. While Max hasn't ruled out a potential reunion with Newey and Honda at Aston Martin from 2026, his primary focus remains on securing his fourth championship and helping Red Bull solve issues with the RB20. As speculation around Verstappen's future continues, Red Bull faces another critical decision. 
Is Liam Lawson ready to take over from Daniel Ricciardo? Marco's hints about Max potentially moving on have put even more pressure on Red Bull to find a young talent who can rise to the occasion. Lawson's performances in Formula One have been impressive, but the big question is whether he can sustain this level over a full season and beyond. He's shown maturity and promise, but the pressure to replace Ricciardo mid-2024, or even as a full-time driver in 2025, is enormous. With the remainder of 2024 and the 2025 season hanging in the balance, Racing Bulls must consider their driver lineup carefully. Max Verstappen's potential departure from Red Bull in 2026 complicates things even more. Red Bull will need a strong, consistent driver to fill Ricciardo's shoes, and possibly Verstappen's in the future. The big question remains, is Lawson the right choice to step up and carry the team forward? What do you think of the dramatic plan of replacement in Red Bull? Comment below and subscribe for more.